in this dust that surrounds a forming star have been found now significant organic molecules. Molecules not just like methane, but uh, formaldehyde and cyanide, things that are the building blocks, the seeds, if you will, of life. Mm. So that may be typical, and it may be typical that uh, planets around the universe start off with some of these basic building blocks. Now, does that mean, oh, well, there's going to be life all around? Maybe. But it's a question of how tortuous this path is from those frail beginnings, those seeds, all the way to life. And most of those seeds will fall on fallow mm. planets. But maybe so for, for you personally, will. finding an answer to this question of where we came from, how did this thing happen, yeah. that, that is something you would love to see. I'd love to, see, <laughs> love to see. I'd like, like to know, you know, if that path is tortuous enough and, and so un improbable that no matter what you start with, uh, we're, we could be a singularity. But on the other hand, given all this organic dust that's floating around, we could have lots of, lots mm. of friends out there. Be great to know. Jim, a couple, couple years ago, um, I got a chance to speak with Elon Musk and I asked him the secret of his success, really. Of, of, uh, and, and he said taking physics seriously yeah. was it. Listening to you, what, what I hear you saying is you know, taking math seriously, that, that that has infused your whole life. It's, it's made you an absolute fortune, and now it's allowing you to invest in the futures of thousands and thousands of kids across America and elsewhere. Um, could it be that science actually works, that math actually <laughs> works. <laughs> I mean, <it's> a... <laughs> well, math certainly works. Uh, <laughs> math certainly works. And, uh, but this has been fun. Working with Marilyn and uh, giving it away has been uh, very enjoyable. I just find it, it, it's an inspirational thought to me that by taking knowledge seriously, so much more can come from it. 